Hey everyone, for today's video, I'll be going over Kirisame and making a sort of showcase for him. As for his kit though, his slots are 6 star physical, 5 star defense, and 4 star defense and heal. Solid slots for a tank, and while the heal is nice, the defense slot is better since he's a tank. If you do pull dupes of him, definitely feed it into himself though. For his skill, he gives 30 arts and lowers burn resist by 30%. The arts is nice and the burn resist isn't terrible either. For his art, it has a 70% chance to burn. Paired with his skill lowering burn resist, it's pretty solid if you're trying to burn the enemy. Although, it's unfortunate that the rate is not the best. It could be a little bit higher in my opinion. For his true art, he enters third eye for 3 minutes. And then when he's in third eye, he puts up a 35,000 damage shield for 25 seconds. Really solid shield and third eye lasts for quite some time as well, which is definitely really nice. For his super arts, for 40 seconds, he puts puts up a 50,000 damage shield, and while on third eye, it gains the added effect of cleansing two damage resist debuffs. The beefy 50,000 damage shield is already impressive in itself, as well as it lasting for 40 seconds, but the additional effect of cleansing damage resist down debuffs is really nice and will definitely make him a lot more usable on the harder stages that might stack that. His passives include 30% more damage resist in third eye, as well as 20% more damage resist if the enemy is burning. And when there's a human ally when Kirisame goes in the third eye, he enters true third eye and gets 20% physical resist. He also gets 50 arts at the start of the quest. Solid passives all around, lots of damage resist passively, and it's really easy to enter his true third eye. That 50 arts to start is going to be great for him as well to get into third eye faster. For his true weapon, it's a 5 star defense and increases fire damage by 30% and damage resist by 20% for 10 seconds with a 40 second CT. The passives include 100% freeze and paralysis resist and an extra 60 seconds in third eye, as well as passive attack up. The active effect is kind of mediocre, although the passive freeze and paralysis resist is great for bosses that inflict that, but on stages that you don't need it, you're probably not really going to need the equip in general. As for equips that you would want to run on him though, on his 6 star physical slot, depending on the boss, you could use the machina equip for physical resist, or Platina's true weapon for 20% dark resist. Izanagi also works great to boost his equip CT in order to get his other equips back faster. For his 5 star defense, his true weapon is certainly good for stages that freeze or paralyze, but generally speaking, something like true atomus gear or elemental resist equips such as Mira's hood or Gargantia are going to be better for resisting a boss in general. As for his 4 star defense, it depends on the stage you're running, such as using magic robe aerial for magic bosses, seagull for physical bosses, or roy's gauntlets for some passive damage while near death. If he has a heal slot, something like keratos or blessed necklace could work as well. For crests, he's going to benefit a lot from equip ct, allowing his equips to come back a lot faster. You could also run arts gauge up as well if you don't think you'll need the equip ct. For another crest, truth of eternity is a great option. At level 4, it'll give him 20% damage resist near death, and for bosses that get him near death with status elements and such, that 20% damage resist is a deal breaker. And although Kirisame is an insane tank, the best in the game as a matter of fact, he can take literally all bosses aside from the ones that instantly kill him of course, and his survivability is going to make a lot of harder quests a lot easier. He's the best at what he does hands down, but for what he does, it's not like it's a million times better than our existing tanks, such as Thetis, in the sense that Thetis can tank everything Kirisame can. So in that case, there really isn't a need to go deep for Kirisame, although he makes everything a lot easier than Thetis would. But anyways, if you did enjoy the showcase, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.